Jay-Z is one of the most legendary rappers and musicians we have ever seen. But did you know he is also a great businessman? And in 2022, he was officially announced as a billionaire. And he now has a new net worth of $1.3 billion. From his humble roots as a drug dealer, how did he achieve this? We want to pick out some key business deals that really showcase the businessman he is and how he has become a billionaire. One of Jay's most prominent businesses is Rock Nation. The inspiration for Rock Nation came from his Rockaware clothing line, founded in 1999. Rockaware was a fashion brand selling clothes and accessories as Jay looked to monetize his rap success and create a brand around his rap style. The company had massive early success and in its early years had annual sales of $700 million. He sold the rights to the Rockaware brand to Iconics Brand Group for $204 million. This sale freed up Jay to create Rock Nation in 2008, a private entertainment label that deals as a talent agency, sport agency, record label, celebrity management, TV and film, clothing and philanthropy work. In 2009, they signed their first artist, J. Cole, and since then have continued to sign massive names in entertainment, such as Rihanna, Alicia Keys and Big Sean. The sports division signed big names like Kyrie Irving, Leangelo Ball, and Marcus Rashford. The business helps celebs do endorsement deals and shows, and a big reason why Live Nation values its relationship with Jay-Z so much. An example of their money management is with Rihanna, who left Def Jam to sign with Rock Nation in 2010, and in 2019 signed a $25 million documentary deal with Amazon. A portion of this will go to Rock Nation and Jay. Today, Rock Nation is valued at over $280 million. Not bad for a company he started with nothing. Another one of Jay's businesses is the Ace of Spades champagne brand. When Jay-Z was an up and coming rapper, he used to heavily promote champagne in his lyrics and music videos using it to showcase his glamorous lifestyle as a millionaire rapper. The champagne he would promote was called Cristal, and his promotion massively helped the brand in the late 90s and early 2000s. However, some racist comments by Frederick Rosard, the CEO of the winery that made Cristal, encouraged Jay to make his own brand. When asked by The Economist if an association with rap could hurt Cristal, Rizard said, that's a good question, but what can we do? We can't forbid people from buying it. Jay used this to buy a stake in champagne brand Ace of Spades, rumored to be $50 million. He later said, those comments forced us to build our own thing. He built the champagne brand Ace of Spades in his early years as a rapper, promoting it on his songs. And it was first seen in the 2006 video, Show Me What You Got. More recently, his verse on Meek Mill's What's Free, quoted, put a half a billion dollar value on the wine. In 2014, Carter bought the remaining stake of Armand Brignac for an undisclosed amount, making him the first rapper to own outright a champagne label. The brand sold more than 500,000 bottles in 2019, according to CNBC. And as it's over $300 a bottle, that's some hefty revenue for Jay. Over the years, Jay, Beyonce, and a range of their celebrity friends have heavily promoted the champagne. And in 2021, he sold 50% to LVMH, the drinks brand that owns Moet Hennessy. The deal was at around $630 million and according
according to Forbes, Jay made around $350 million off this deal. So we can see Jay is really about that popping bottles lifestyle. Another huge business venture of Jay's is his deal with promotion and touring company Live Nation. In 2017, he signed a new 10-year deal worth $200 million for touring rights associated with Jay-Z's concerts. The deal is expected to be similar to the deal he did with them in 2008, which can be broken down as follows. An analysis from Business Insider on the deal summarised that almost a third of the money would go to Jay's pocket. So, Live Nation is basically paying a $50 million premium for the right to spend another $100 million on Jay-Z Incorporated. It looks like a phenomenal deal for Jay and one we can't be surprised at by now. On top of the deals we have already mentioned, Jay-Z's steadily growing kingdom is expansive. He is now the first hip-hop artist to become a billionaire and is one of only a handful of entertainers to join the exclusive club. And we can all learn from his shrewd investments. He really is what he preaches. He's not a businessman, he's a business. What do you think Jay's best investment or project was? Comment below. Thanks for watching.